Good morning. Katie Price. I'm scared. She's been on an incredible journey. It's a good job you're not shy. My smoke alarm's going off. Shit, the fire brigade is going to come. And we've been with her every step of the way. My life is in your hands. From heartache... The only way to go is up. I can't go down anymore. ...to happiness. This week, as the series draws to a close... Thank you so much. Katie prepares for Alex's big fight. Oh, my God! She's there to deal with the aftermath. It's not big or clever about taking your own stitches out. The family have some fun... This is the one. And she's got a surprise for her hubby. I'm now looking at potential horses for Alex. How's it going, Paul? It's the 25th of September, and it's a hive of activity at Katie's house. Tonight, Katie's cage fighter husband, Alex, will have one of the biggest fights of his life. And nearly 20 friends and family members have come round to support her. Hello, Eva! Okay, okay. I'm getting changed. Yeah, I did text Alex last night. He's got five five-minute rounds to do. That's a lot. Five, five minutes? That's a long time. Junior, do you know where Alex is tonight and what Alex is doing? Ready. <laughs> All that's going on now, everyone's getting ready to leave to go to Birmingham. I told everyone to be at half four. Four, half four. I know everyone will be late when I mean, really I plan to leave at five. I'm not even ready, so they better look big, Gary. I love they look big or that. Katie will be in the spotlight almost as much as Alex tonight, so it's important she looks her best. They look small, my eyebrows, Gary. Whatever Gary does, I'm always like, but Gary, can you do this? Hello. Katie's brother Danny can't wait to get going. So it's not worth me suggesting we all start leaving separately in cars. No, we've all got to arrive together because I've got the tickets. And without the tickets, you won't be getting in. You give me the tickets and I had them out of the door, you would arrive. She loves control, doesn't she? We don't want to get there too early and we don't want to get there too late. Because if we're too early, then you're just sitting there for three hours waiting. The one thing Katie can't control is how the fight will go tonight. The last time she watched Alex fight was hard enough and they'd only just met. Now he's her husband and watching tonight will be a much bigger deal. How are you feeling? Not so much nervous, like, well, yeah, nervous. <laughs> it's just because you don't want to see anyone get hurt. Both of us, like, even any fight, I don't like to see anyone get hurt. It's just that, I don't know why I've got visions. I've been being in a headlock like that, Alex, and going, pulling a funny face and, you know. He saw on YouTube where that guy knocked out his opponent within, like, ten seconds with a back kick. Alex will be excited about that. That's what drives him. Katie's stepdad, Paul, knows how difficult this is for her. Yeah. Oh, of course Kate's nervous. Yeah, I mean, uh, she thinks she's um, more petrified than what he is. <laughs> 140 miles away in Birmingham, Alex is six hours away from the biggest fight of his life. I have no doubt that I'm going to give the best performance I've ever given in my life. I'm confident for tonight. Alex's fight is taking place at Birmingham's National Indoor Arena, which seats over 12,000 people and is being broadcast live on TV. He's up against cage fighting champion Tom Kong Watson. This is the calm before the storm. I'm getting little moments of electricity, like, and I just keep it down, keep it down, keep it calm. Alex has been planning a grand theatrical entrance to impress the audience and Katie. He's even recorded his own version of Roxanne. Roxanne! 
This is his last chance to run through it all with creative producer Chris Fitzhugh. Hey, how you doing Chris? How you guys? Yeah, good. Are you ready? Oh yes. Yeah? It's just keeping that calmness down. Okay. So I'm getting very excited now. I've got to save it all for the big event. This is amazing. The circus has arrived. Oh yes. Yeah, and I'm like... There may be thousands watching Alex later, but there's only one person he'll be thinking about. This is where Katie's going to be. Here. Especially as he's been celibate the last few weeks as part of his training regime. I spoke to Alex earlier. He seems more excited to see me than the actual fight. He can't wait to get some Rudy's later. And she's asking how I am. I said, I can't wait to see you. <laughs> but it was a little bit more than that. I was like, aren't you worried about the fight? I said, get the fight. I'm going to get to see you tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> Is that what you're thinking about? I went, yep. <laughs> it's party time. Now, of course, um, you know, this is party time in here. Coming up, Katie's feeling the pressure. Now, knock him out. As Alex prepares for his fight. He's got his blood everywhere. It's the day of Alex's cage fight, and Katie needs support almost as much as he does. She's organised for three carloads of her nearest and dearest to come along. On the way up, she gets a chance to have a pre-fight heart-to-heart -heart with Alex. I can't wait to see your show performance. Everything. Isn't it? I know you won't look down at me because you'll be concentrating, but if I do see you, I'll give you a little wave. Oh good, I didn't put too much makeup on, just in case. I have a little boo I have a little boo-hoo. Just think I'll see you in about four hours. Alright, my baby. Alright, I love you too. Have good luck, don't Alex. I mean knock him out. See you later. Love you, bye. He sounds very Relaxed, really calm, but he's on edge, I can tell. Well, he would be. When I said, I hope you knock him out, and he went, that's my plan, or something like that. And he said, when I walk in, when he walks in, he should walk past us, so he yeah, looked down. Best friend Gary is also feeling apprehensive. I have never, ever been to a fight before in my life irrespective of Alex or anything. I've never actually fancied it before. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I hate blood, and I'm probably gonna show myself up because I'm gonna look like an idiot, because I'll be like, Ugh, the whole time. If I had a choice, I'd probably be at home watching Coronation Street. They're almost at the venue, but Katie's nerves have got the better of her, and she needs to stop for a loo break on the outskirts of Birmingham. Oh, I might, I might get changed there. Oh, no, 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 no. A pub here? With eyes also on her tonight, it's time to glam up. And Katie's ready to stand by her man. He's only in about an hour and 20. Apparently it's chaotic there. I don't know if that's good or bad. Alex is mentally preparing himself in private, so Katie is the one everyone wants to talk to. How are you? You right? Oh, gorgeous. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. You okay? But she's putting on a brave face. Have you seen his Tom One show? I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. It's my it's idea to do it. Sure, that's his sport, that's so, what he does. That's what you know, he did before you knew you. That's what he's he was good looking before I met him, so uh, <laughs> 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 Alex, I know he really has trained for this. I tell you what, he's worked really hard this last three or four months ago. Oh, he definitely Not has. Tonight. Thanks really very much. Thank you. 
this has been a major thing for Alex. You can never guarantee what's going to happen. He said at the end of it, I said, yeah, but there's an after party. He said, I could be in hospital after the after party. That's what worries me. Alex is considered the underdog in this fight. Many have said he's been distracted by his celebrity status, and tonight will be his chance to prove himself. Lewis, are you ready? For Katie, it will be an anxious watch. But she's putting on a brave face. And as far as I'm concerned, they're both winners. The first one in the cage, the challenger, Alex the Reed. It's time for Alex's Moulin Rouge inspired entrance and for everyone to hear him singing his own recording of Roxanne. And it goes down well with the woman Alex wants to impress the most. You don't care if it's wrong. But tonight's sports pundits highlight what everyone is thinking. There's his wife, and this is the reason everyone is so fascinated. Has the show business lifestyle got to this man, or is he still a fighter at heart? Because let's cut through it all right now, Pierre. As it stands at this moment, he is the huge underdog. Stop. 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 Let's do this wait any longer as he brings them on. It's going now. It's a strong start for Katie's underdog husband. Tools that he has. And look at this. Reed is actually trying to take Watson down. And he's almost successful. Incredible, Pierre. What a round. Alex battles on through five five-minute rounds, refusing to be beaten by his champion opponent. This is superb boxing from Reed. And as the underdog, he's beaten everyone's expectations. Well, Alex Reed, I think, has earned the respect of the country here. But at a price. Reed's left eye is closed here. Look at that. He can't see out that it's this. Oh, Watson pops out. We are going to decision. UK what a fight. What a fight indeed. With no one knocked out, it's down to the judges' scores to decide who will win. Look at both men's faces. This was straight out of the movies. The winner by unanimous decision, Tom Watson! Alex has lost by just a few points, and Katie's proud of her man. on so what to me they both done really well and the fact that they both made it to the end of the round to me they're both winners and the state of Tom Watson's face pretty mashed up I don't care whether he won or lost but to me the whole crowd I think they're both equal actually everyone's sex was saying they watched him on telly and how well he did so many people watched him Mum, how is Alex? I'm nervous for him, can't watch no programme. He lost. He lost, but went full round. Danny's also pleased with his brother-in-law's performance. It's a fight, eh? Bloody hell. All I did want for the evening was for Alex to get, like, hurt or knocked out or banging early doors and not, not disgracing himself. You know, Alex has done five rounds fully with him. You know, you can't ask for more than that. And very nearly had him at the end as well with a choke. So, man, Alex. And even nervous Gary managed to sit through it. It was good, though, wasn't it? Well, this, yeah. yeah I, do you know what? I actually did not think that I would enjoy it. That I had so many emotions, then it was like fear, excitement, relief. Don't you think Hannah. Tom has respect for Alex now? Because yeah. at the end, he must have, because Tom's face is mashed up. But it's not just Tom's face that got hurt. Alex has got a broken nose and a dislocated eye socket. 
it's going to be a skull fall in the eye. He said, my eye's broken in the socket. He's mashed up, he's blood everywhere. How good did he do? Oh, very, very good. You should be very, very, very proud of How long does it take for you to recover from something like that? I'm not watching. Right, that's ten seconds so far. Do you know, I actually thought he started turning, actually. Yeah, I did. You did, at the end. What do you mean? Like, everyone was cheering for Alex. Yeah, the thing is, people believe everything they read, and Alex can put up a fight. And he's just proved it tonight. With the medics tending to Alex's wounds, it seems their night of passion may have to be postponed. But Katie is still leaving in style. Coming up, Alex is in the wars. It looks a lot worse than it is. <laughs> Katie's nursing him to health. He shouldn't be taking his own stitches out, should he? No. His eye. But the fight isn't over yet. This is the one. It's not a family day out, it's war. It's been five days since Alex's fight. He's been training hard for months, but now Katie finally has her husband to herself. Show me your eye. Injuries and all. I know you probably think I'm weird, but I actually think he looks really good looking. Like, like that. Alex has got a dislocated eye socket, a broken nose and stitches. It's not nice looking like this because it's like, look what he did to you, but I know he's not going to be looking too happy as well. It looks a lot worse than it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, still, I'm many... still smiling though. <laughs> One of Katie's hairdressers, Mark Collins, is here to take out her extensions and happens to be a martial arts fan. Well, this is uh, five days this... after I've had my cut and I'm supposed to have them out. Everyone's saying, no, you've got to go to the hospital. I've had more cuts and I know how to take the stitch out. It's got to be very, very hygienic with it so it doesn't get it's infected. Uh... Rather than have his stitches taken out by a professional, Alex has decided to do a DIY job. You know, the, you gotta remember, Mr. Reid, I'm a cutsman. Were well, you a cutsman? Yeah. And luckily, hairdresser Mark used to work ringside in the fighting business. The They've got to come out. To come out aren't they? they are, they are. They are ready to come out, definitely. You need some tweezers as well. Then. That's what I mean, have we got tweezers? experience to take out stitches. <laughs> I, I trust I'm a fully qualified uh, hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> a bit shaky this morning. Are you really? Are you sure they're ready to come out? A hundred percent. Oh, that one hurt. Got it? I don't think it's sharp enough. No. It's not sharp enough? No, it's not to be honest, mate. It's not going to cut it? No, it's not cutting it. You might have to get a professional. Oh well. well come back to hairdressing. Unsurprisingly, trying to remove stitches with hairdressing scissors hasn't worked, and Katie's not impressed by Alex's cavalier attitude. Alex wants to take his own stitches out. I said, why don't you just go to the hospital? All the doctors said you can get them out. Don't tell me what to do. I've been doing stitches for over ten years. I said, have a mangled up face in. I couldn't get them out. They're still in there. He's matched. We won't take him five minutes, will it, just to go to the doctors? No. After months of training, Alex doesn't know what to do with himself, so he's decided to go out for a jog. It's actually will help heal me. Because you release endorphins, which actually heal you. So I'm not going to push it at all. It's going to be very, very gentle. Yeah, shade it is. Don't know. Sometimes he thinks he's a bit macho, and he's gone for a run. He's been obsessed since the fight. Right, I'm going to be putting on weight now. Oh, I've got to start training. I said, Alex, can you just relax? You've just had a fight. Why are you going to go and lift weights? Why are you going to go and train? Can you let your cuts in that hill? If you're saying your eye socket is broken, do you think it's clever to go and put pressure and run and do this? But doesn't listen, he goes to do it all anyway. A couple of minutes later, Alex is back. Just spray my ankle. No. Yeah. All I can say is, told you so. I love it when I'm right. And he's probably pissed off because there's paps out there. And they're probably right, he only ran. 50 metres in my back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. 
<laughs> go out, start jogging and limp back two minutes later. Katie's had her old extensions taken out and will have new ones put in next week. Here we go. All done. Brilliant. Much healthier. So it's a chance to see her natural look. Mr. Natural. Do you like Katie? She said it straight like that. A bit of a glamour. I like both. That's all natural. If I did cut on a bob, it would be perfect now because it's all like a length. Yeah, it would be one length. But you haven't cut on a bob. You'd have to wait about yeah, three months for mean. extensions. See you later. It's the next day, and Katie has persuaded Alex to see a doctor about his injuries. At first, they're going round to Alex's parents' house in Aldershot. What did they say? You're not seen. I've not. I haven't been yet. Oh. This is so much better. Katie here. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. sunny and it's wintering. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Mwah, good. You got any ice, Mum? Good. What you do here is what I do at my mum's. I literally come in, Everybody go through this. the cupboard, see what yeah. I can get. It's the first time Alex's mum has seen him since the fight. I don't like his black eyes. He looks a bit better than I thought he would, but he still looks rough. But he looks happy, so that's OK. <laughs> Did you watch it live on the night? I watched it live on the night. Really? Like that. I, like I, that. I, I, I kept coming out here because my mouth was going so dry. <laughs> I'd come out here to get a drink of water and it was going like this and putting the cup down. No. <laughs> and, but I thought it was a good fight. I thought he did well. It's horrible seeing my son get rushed up. Absolutely horrible. I, uh, I mean, when he was a little boy, his sisters would go out and beat up anybody or his big brother <laughs> that, that was anywhere near him, but we can't do that anymore. <laughs> right, I thought it looked quite equal. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to be biased. No, I thought it looked Didn't good. Didn't you think it was quite equal? I, I thought, thought it, it was... He did his job well. <laughs> Alex's dad, Bob, was impressed with his son's performance. Oh, he did a lot better than I expected. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> but he really did well, and I think he won the crowd over in the end. I enjoyed it a lot. Through, oh, through me eyes like that. And can you have a go at him for me? He shouldn't be taking his own stitches out, should he? No. In his eyes. You shouldn't be taking your own and stitches out. Yeah, really. Yeah. Right. Carol, like After a flying visit, Katie and Alex head off to the hospital. We're going to see the doctor, doctor. Can't you see he's hurting, hurting? Um, check, I'm all okay. I feel okay. Well, I don't feel okay. I feel numb. But he still insisted in driving to keep his mind off the pain. Oh, come on, missus. Action stations. After the examination, it seems Alex may live to fight again. Long story short, the doctor says thinks I'm OK, but we need to come back in a week's time just to make sure, because so, I've still got some swelling. Because of the position of Alex's fracture, the doctor has decided his eye socket can be left to heal on its own. Apparently, the bone around your eye, if you flashed a torch through it, this is what I learned today, it's as thin as tissue. So if you imagine that being smashed, it sort of explodes. So basically, you have fractured something, and he said if you break your leg... Because you move it all the time, you still have to do something to fix it. But with your face, because you don't move it, it can heal itself. What have you got? A woman who keeps trying to suck your face off. But in your case... I you don't, so I'm all right. <laughs> Katie's finally got her way, and Alex has had his stitches taken out by a professional. I'm You're here really to be posh. the supportive wife. I think he loves the fact that I was here with him. Tell the truth. Yeah. That's a good with their busy lives, it's rare for this husband and wife to spend time together like any normal couple. So, they're determined to make the most of it. So, the following day, Katie, Alex and Harvey have been joined by Alex's brother Rupert, his partner Laura and their son Lysander for a family trip to the bowling alley. Oh, Lysander wants to follow Harvey out of the car, did Oops, he? Big step. And Katie and Alex definitely seem to be enjoying each other's company. Oi, stop looking at us. Right, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, I can't wait to have some pizza. Can you, Harvey? Get off your... Get off. Don't touch what you can't afford. Hey, you're spoiling my chances with all the hot chicks. <laughs> A good place for Harvey, because he likes all the lights. 
you like it? Is it scary? I might get a bit scared. Did you like that? Ooh. Maybe feel a bit sick. Harvey, should we go and play bowling? The big ball. Look at mummy. Should we go and play bowling with the big ball? But when it comes to bowling, it seems that the loved up couple are ready to take each other on. Me and my brother might be competitive, but there's one person here I'm more competitive with. Mrs. Reed. Don't see little news. Yeah, there's a little, little bit of competition going on, you know. It's not a family day out, it's war. I'm still winning though. Eventually, Alex and Katie have to face defeat as Alex's elder brother Rupert wins the game. Alexander, is that Reedy Senior 1, Reedy Junior 0? Shut up. <laughs> Get in the car. Right. Thank you, guys. Oh, you put your seatbelt on. Fantastic. Say bye everybody! Bye. A couple of days later, Alex and Katie are still enjoying living a life of domestic bliss without the stresses and strains of busy schedules. While Katie has her hair extensions put in, the boys are tasked with choosing a film for all the family to watch this evening. I think we're going to get Labyrinth, aren't we, Junior? Yeah, but only if they are horrid movies. What do you mean, horrid movies? Horrid movies are so scary. Oh yeah, that would be a bit scary, but not too scary. I've eaten so much rubbish and I feel terrible. Someone was telling me earlier that ex-fighters get really fat. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to end up like a 24 stone fatty on the sofa and Kate's my feeder. She actually said that, she's joking, I'll, get, I'll trade you in for a new one. I'm like, oh, cheers love. <laughs> Come on then, let's go, short stuff. They're supposed to be getting a family film, but Junior's got other ideas. Well, that is... What the hell's that? Please. Killers are not born now, mate. That is nasty. His mum won't let you know. It's too old. God. I bet I'll get one of the uh, 18. How old are you? Five. Five? <laughs> You've got a little way to go yet. Yeah? But this looks good there. Black Death. <laughs> that does look good, actually. Oh, this looks a very good film, Alex. Look, look at it, look. Well, that doesn't look like a good film, actually. With the movie sorted, Alex can't hold himself back from the pick and mix. I'm not eating them. I'm not eating them. <laughs> I did say a minute ago, no more bad food, but it's not me, it's Junior. It's your fault. No more than Connie anymore. What about these bananas? Yeah, what about them? They're all right. Let's have a cup of bananas. Please. And Junior has picked something else he wants. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. A computer game. Have you definitely got a DS? If you could do ten push-ups, good push-ups, you can have it. They've got to be all the way down, all the way up. One. Two. Nine, all the way down, ten. Alright. But a lot of kids don't get that sort of stuff, so you've got to be, you know, whatever. <laughs>
back home, Junior's keen to show Katie his new moves. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Has he got a DS? <laughs> yeah. Would that work on it? Yeah. <laughs> Labyrinth, I bought. Oh, Labyrinth. They're going to love that, won't they love Labyrinth? It'll be a fun night in for all the family. And to top it off, hairdresser Mark has finished early. My hair's finished? What's the time? It's... How long does that take me? Five hours, 49. Now, hour. I, I can't be ready. You've got six. You, you're getting too quick, Mark. Okay. Nice hair. It's nice hair, isn't it? Really silky. Your hair was in good condition when we took them out as well. Coming up, Katie shows her feisty side. That's why you're bossy. You treat me like a horse. Princess has her first trip to the dentist. Big girl. Look at that. You and Alex have got real ones. Mummies aren't real. And Katie looks forward to the future. I've moved to a beautiful house, the house of my dreams, and I'm very excited. For the past week, Katie and Alex have had a rare opportunity to spend time together. Smell that. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's healthy. Today, she's off to see her horses at their new house. She's invited Alex to join her, but he's decided to do his own thing. You're bored now, you don't know what to do with yourself. No, I've got loads to do. Like what? I've what, got loads to do. What I've are you going to do the moment I leave? I've got phone calls to make, I've got people to phone and sort yeah, that stuff out. which you could do in the car, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. You're going to go to the gym? Yes. What one? One in Guildford. Okay. I want to check out that new premises. Good for you. And, um... Kids. I've got to watch a film that I might be in. Excellent. Hey, hey, no, hey. No, because I'm really late. Oh, look, 30 seconds isn't going to yeah, stop. Fine. No, stop You didn't want to give it to me a minute ago. Yeah, but you, you're just rushing. I know. I'm stressing because I'm late. Goodbye. Hang on. Have a good day without your wife when you could come with her. Bye. All right, I'll come with you. Do you know, sorry, I'll come with you. I won't do what I'm going to do, I'm going to come with you. You don't have to, I'm joking. I'm not having it. Alex. I'm not having it. But Alex hasn't even had his breakfast yet. You I'll wait not... for you to eat your breakfast. No, I'll, I'll eat it in the car. Just no. eat your breakfast. Well, but are you going to moan at me if you come? No, no, I'll just be quiet. And I'll spend time with my wife, watching her do her thing, while I just, all of my stuff just... Dwindles away. Oh, have you got the ump? This is what Alex is like when he has the ump. Look, he's now probably going to try not to laugh or he'll have a go at me. It's either A or B. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Do you realise what you just did on the floor? Oh, my gosh. That's better. Are you happy now? They're happy, Alex. Are you happy? You might need another haircut. Are you happy? I'm happy because you're coming. Sorry, did you say? Katie and Alex's new home comes with its own stables. Katie's riding trainer, Andrew Gould, is helping to run them. You have just trashed it. The grass! Look She's going to ruin the tyres. Seriously, you've just mud up. Get off the grass and park it on the track. Reverse! Go! It's that. wet grass, what did you expect it to do? It, I'll brush it back with a broom. <laughs> Most of Katie's friends and family are horse lovers, and she'd like Alex to get into the saddle too. I'm now looking at potential horses for Alex. They're both old, safe schoolmasters. Like Katie's friend Polly is helping her choose. I quite look we'll forward to this. <laughs> what? Riding. Are oh, you? Why? Because I've always wanted to do it. I was, I was learning learning years ago, and I stopped. No, we speak to next door, and you can go out hacking together. I can go out regularly, nice. go across good. the farmer's fields. 
What's your what's her name? This one's name? Paul. Paul? <laughs> How's it going, Paul? This is Paul. Put my one mucking about, look. Nice, isn't he? Oi! No! Sad! Why is that bad? No. What's wrong with him doing that? Because he's being naughty. Why is that naughty? No! Stop it! Why is, what's wrong with that though? Because it's manners. What do you mean manners? Is that how you tell me off, is it? Sorry! That's why you're bossy. No! You treat me like a horse. See you later. I won't be long. Where is it? Recently, Katie and Alex have enjoyed some really fun time as a family. Uh, what was that? You yeah. cheeky little rockbags. But there are some normal, everyday things to catch up on, like going to get their teeth checked. We're off to the dentist, because I've still got a toothache since America, and Alex needs to sort his teeth out, because half of his are numb from the fight. And maybe if he's got time, I might let him look in little princess's mouth for the first time. Yeah. They're seeing Alex's friend Millard, who not only recorded his version of Roxanne... <gasps> Roxanne! <coughs> but he's also a dentist. What are you MC or dentist today? Uh, today is my dental hat. I'm going to put the tuna con in a minute. Okay. And turn into Mr. Dentist, man. Katie had a new veneer fitted in the States, but she's been grinding her teeth, which is damaging the tooth. She's also worried she might have an infection. This might not be exactly LA, but she's hoping Millard can help. I'm now going to get my teeth checked because I've got major toothache going on here. But I will see you in a minute. So, ciao. Millard files down Katie's new tooth so she doesn't grind it so much and checks there's no infection. Just by that little quick... The bite's a lot better already, so hopefully that will help. And then I'm going to come back and have the new guard done. Now it's Princess's time, her very first time at the dentist. Do you want two like what Mummy's just done? No. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to decide whether you should be having your dummy or not. Yeah, that's it. When you stay here, that means you're a big girl. And we've got, got special glasses for you. Look, oh, look well. at those really ones. Look at that. <laughs> Open eyes and be calm and sweet pie, I'm going to count them out. Use the little mirror. Princess is three and still uses her dummy, and Katie's worried it's affecting her teeth. Bite the teeth together, sweetie. Keep uh -uh. them together. Mm. That's it. That little gap there. The dummy. The dummy is making that a little bit bigger. Um, so what do you recommend she does for a dummy? I think we might need to stop. Stop it. Not suck it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. All right. See this. Yeah. Isn't very good for your teeth, is it? No. Last into the dentist chair is Alex, who's lost the feeling in some of his teeth since the competition. It's all numb up here, but that's not like you can do with that, is it? That's not the moment. Just be careful with it. You can't feel anything here. Be careful with it. Because it's numb, you're going to put more pressure yeah. because you can't feel it. The pressure the detectors are gone. Okay. And although his fight is over, he's already preparing for the next one and is getting a mole made for a new mouth guard. Look what he's got in his mouth. You watch what they make out of that. See all that plasticine in his mouth. Wow. There you go. So when he does his boo boo boxing, um, it protects his teeth so he doesn't end up like mummy having all fake ones. Because you and Alex have got real ones, mummies aren't real. Same thing again on the bottom. Although well, you're only having it for the top, they'll match up with the bottom. Okay, we're all done. Wait, that yeah. was brilliant. Thanks! Haha, <laughs> you've got them. <laughs> As the family leave, they don't miss out on the opportunity to tease the pads. They've got a picture of a towel. Yep. A little HGV lorry got in the way. They must be like, damn! We're back from the dentist. 
Her first dental appointment is a milestone for Princess. No, little girl. And one of the many for the family over the last year. That's my kissing. Hello. 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 Katie puts a lot into life and gets a lot out of it in return. And right now, her future's looking good. Fantastic! <laughs> a year ago, who'd have thought Katie would be remarried and moving into a brand new house with her family and five horses? The last year's been one of the most difficult years emotionally to deal with, but also it's been a very good year because lots of very good things have happened. There's always a drama with the pricey Reedy, but I wouldn't have it any other way. But that's just the world that I live in. Gently, gently. A lot's happened in the 18 months since we started to find out what Katie did next. It's like a new door has opened. I can't see her doing a Bridget Jones. She's not like that. We're here in Ibiza, here in Ibiza. What an interesting night this is going to be. She's almost finding herself again. What brings next to Katie Price's life, I wonder? She met a handsome cage fighter. My name is Katie, so. How you doing? Oh my goodness. And love blossomed. Love is in the air, everywhere around. She makes my heart race. This is really mad, isn't it? So do you think you love him? I definitely could go down that road. And it's been, how long have you been? Two weeks? A week. A week. <laughs> the real case is amazing. He is my perfect match, finally. But then they split up. I just realised I want to be on my own. I don't okay. want a relationship. Um, as I of... hope we can remain friends as of I came out. And to be dumped on national TV, I couldn't believe it. She's my life. I saw him, I'm still looking at him thinking, oh my God, I'm just so into you. Deep down inside, I wish I didn't say I'm telling you that I dumped him. They did make up, but what followed was a sad Christmas without Princess and Junior. It's supposed to be Christmas, and it's the worst Christmas I've ever had, to be honest. The new year came around. Well at the villa, baby! <laughs> and things started to look up. 2010. I will make a good year. What will it be? It will be. I will make it a good year. <laughs> and in February, after being forced to spend a month apart... I love Katie Price! I never want to be away from you again. I'm not going to be. Katie and Alex tied the knot. We are the newlyweds. That is my new husband behind. She is perfect in every way. I've never felt like this ever. Kiss. <laughs> and settled into married life. Alex has put his bloody thing in the back. How am I going to get that out? Oh. You overpower me all the time. Correct. And domestic bliss. Really happy children today. You pulled a spit in the middle. Yeah. It's because you never do it. As much as their busy celebrity schedules would allow. Yeah, I wish she was here with me. I wish I could cuddle him in bed here. Now, over a year after they first met, Katie, Alex, and the kids are about to move into a new family home. I love seeing my horses here. She's finally settled into the life she always wanted. I've moved to a beautiful house, the house of my dreams. I'm here with all my best friends, these, new hubby. The kids are going to love it, and I'm very excited. Right, are you ready for action? Yes. You beast. Come on, then.
sponsored by kiddiecare.com, the baby store online.